word. Let us pray. Lord, we open these books. We open our screens. We open our understanding, O Lord, to turn to your word and I have our attention transformed into fear. That as your spirit speaks to us, even as my lips speak, Lord, that your spirit will guide our understanding and the revelation of truth into our lives, that by the witness of this word, we might illumine others and grow faith in you before all the world as we seek to serve you in this time with your word and with one another. Lord, to your glory and praise. In Christ we pray. Amen. And we read today the psalm, Psalm 95. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made us. And his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come. Let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. To God's name be glory and praise. Amen. 